Well, local crews are joining in the response to Helene earlier in the day. ComEd volunteers headed south to help restore power. WGN's Andrea Medina is live along the lakefront with more. Andrea. Hi, Lourdes and Ray. ComEd crews and Red Cross volunteers are either already on site or in route to assist. Here at North Avenue Beach, we're feeling the effects of Helene with the dangerous waves on the lake and the strong winds. Now, the good thing here, we're not experiencing the severe conditions like in some communities in the southeast are facing. Our hearts go out to everybody impacted by this uh, this disaster. Hurricane Helene has now weakened into a tropical storm, but it has already brought life threatening storms, heavy rain, flooding and damaging winds, resulting in dozens of deaths. The storm has left a trail of destruction, causing extensive damage and widespread power outages across the affected areas. Today we sent about 30 uh, overhead transmission workers to Georgia to help Georgia power. ComEd crews are traveling to Macon, Georgia to restore power to the millions who are currently without it. Work on the, the tall transmission lines that you'll see running alongside the highway, for example, on the really tall towers. These are the lines that bring power from a power plant to the distribution system that go that will uh, that powers homes and businesses. The crews assisting are all volunteering their time and are prepared to stay for at least two weeks with the possibility of extended deployments. Our guys will tell you that this is really the best part of the job, uh, helping people that are really in bad shape to get the power back and get some normalcy back in their lives. This is the one of many disasters that we've seen this year. Um, the climate uh, crisis has has actually um, intensified disasters. The American Red Cross plays a vital role in helping communities recover and rebuild during their most challenging times. They emphasize that their volunteers are key to the relief efforts. This includes the current situation where 20 volunteers from the Illinois region, along with nearly 500 from across the country, are on the ground delivering food, distributing cleanup kits and supporting shelters in Georgia, Florida and South Carolina. We've got volunteers who this is their first time deploying and then there's others that are, you know, this is their eighth time, their 12th time um, and they don't hesitate. They're leaving their warm, comfortable home um, to be out there. Remnants of Helene are also being felt in the Chicagoland area, bringing high waves, dangerous currents and strong winds that pose risk for those near the water. According to the National Weather Service, a beach hazard statement is in effect until Monday morning in Lake, Northern Cook and Central Cook counties and Lake County in Indiana. Meanwhile, the hurricane recovery process is in full swing with emergency services, utility companies and generous volunteers all working to support those affected by this devastating situation. Proud of our team uh, for doing this work, for uh, taking the time away from their family and their friends to go help others that really need help. Now, ComEd announced they'll also be sending 100 distribution line workers to uh, Columbia, South Carolina tomorrow morning to help with restoration efforts. We're live at North Avenue Beach. Andrea Medina, WGN News.